If you are looking for the best gaming projectors, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on gaming projectors in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of manufacturer, and real customer feedback. If you want to buy a gaming projectors, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. At the first position of our list, we have BenQ X1300, a home projector for gaming if ever there was one. The X1300 impressed us straight with its offering of a near items of input lag and a refresh rate of up to the 120Hz. This is in line with gaming monitors and far ahead of the vast majority of standard projectors. The trade-off is that this is pricey for a 1080i projector and cost in line with many 4K units, but if your focus is a projector that is optimized for gaming, and one that could be the best projector for PS5 or Xbox Series X, then we think this will meet your needs more than practically any other unit currently available. Instead of the usual one game mode, the X1300 is 3 for RPG, FPS, and sports games. As a result, when we use this as our primary gaming screen, it didn't matter whether we were playing games in lush landscapes, dark corridors teeming with enemies, or on the football pitch, British or American version as we found a picture mode perfect, and custom audio profiles to bring out the sounds you want to focus on for each. They're also great for watching video, for instance, Sport mode is great for the greens of a pitch and the contrasting kits. Moving on to the next and number two with BenQ TH671 SD. We know that one of the first things which could put you off getting a projector is a room too narrow for it. But short throw projectors give wall filling pictures even in tight spaces. And in our testing, the BenQ TH671 SD proved that you can get a massive 100 inch projection size at just 1.5 meters from the surface, enabling us to turn a cozy living room into a full cinema experience. It's great for portability. You can take it to a new environment, place it on a table in the middle of the room, and deliver huge images. While testing this unit, we found that it is very quick to set up, and then you have access to modes that take into account some wall colors and adjust the picture accordingly. The built-in speakers are passable if there is no option of plugging into a sound system. The TH671 SD has truly been designed with gamers in mind. While any of its picture modes offer great response times, the game mode not only gives stunning color but really impressed us with a lag time of just 1.4, in line with the top gaming monitors and almost unheard of in our projector testing. It's not the best for placing further away from a projection surface. So if you were set on having your unit far from the image, then you were better off with a standard throw, but only because the image would be too big. The number three position is held by Optima H 143X. The Optima H 143X is one of the cheaper units which can be used in a lighter room. It won't give an impeccable gaming picture while the sun blazes in through a patio window. But if you do want to casually watch something mid-afternoon without drawing the curtains you'll get by well enough if you use its bright mode. However, when it's dark the unit gives great quality images in any configuration. It's easy to set up with a spin of its manual zoom and focus dials, plus a good range of color and brightness settings out of the box. The backlit remote is easy to use in the dark too. Lag times are slightly slower than some of the more expensive units but still perfectly usable and only the most detail-obsessed gamers will notice the difference, as the enhanced gaming mode can take this down to around 16 ohms. There are a few practical issues with the H-143, the lack of a back-adjustable leg and lens cap, but this is nothing insurmountable for a very solid unit, which gives a great picture. Next at number 4, we have x -Gimme Horizon Pro. We love this projector, as it's a small but tall 4K LED projector with two X8W speakers which belay its small size and the quality that gets pumped out of it. During our testing, the setup was speedy out of the box and offered great autofocus and key stunning tech which made new locations a breeze. We found the color and motion control options more fiddly. You may need to play with the settings to not feel slightly seasick at times. Given the levels of blues and how the projector performed with animated content, the LED tech is suitably bright and proved far more watchable with afternoon ambient light than most bulb units. Input lag is as low as 35 ohms in the dedicated game mode, 
low enough to be largely unnoticeable as long as you're not too used to a top gaming monitor. For us, the problems come with a few fiddly settings, including a lack of a dedicated source button to flip to other inputs without going back through the main menus. It also has no built-in capability to manually tilt the unit or shift the image, so you'll need a suitable flat location to project from. Plus, there's the usual lack of Netflix and a few other key services from the available apps. Once you're set up, though, SD and HE images upscale well, with the autofocus giving excellent sharpness during our testing. With a UHD source, you'll be able to enjoy every freckle on skin tones and blade of grass in a landscape. What great! Decent value contender for best 4K projector for gaming in our eyes. The number 5 position is held by Epson Home Cinema 1060 Epson 8TW650. A solid entry-level projector from a recognized and trusted name, the ATW650 gives good HD quality pictures that are watchable even with ambient light. It's simple to set up and gives good pre-set modes to give a great picture straight away. Its game mode will cut input lag to 25 ohms fine for most, but not the best even at this price. It will struggle slightly with darker images, but no more than other affordable projectors. There are some minor niggles, but easy enough to get past especially at the price. Manual zoom and focus are standard here, but manual keystoning is a surprise, although it's one of the few projectors which offers both manual and vertical keystoning. Once it's been set up and behind your sofa, you won't notice this though. However, you might then get frustrated with the remote, which has small buttons, and too many of them, and no backlight, which might be an issue when you're going to do most of your watching in the dark. As a note, the double header of a product name is due to two different product names in the UK and US, so it might vary depending on your location. The number six position is dominated by Vanvo L6200 native. The Vanvo is particularly stylish for the price, with a smart looking case to make carrying around the light unit even easier. The visuals on screen are the most important thing to look at, of course, but it delivers here too, at up to 200 inches of great picture in good conditions. The LED are suitably bright without too much heat, so this is a projector that can come out at dusk rather than once night has fully set in. The digital keystoning tool in the back is a nice touch, and the ability to alter this horizontally as well as vertically makes it easier to set up in locations others might struggle with. Very useful as many gardens don't have that perfect spot for a projector. The speaker is more than passable if you don't want to lug out a sound system every time you use it. The only drawback is that the controls on top of the unit can be a little fiddly, so don't lose the remote. Moving on to the next at number 7, with Epson Home Cinema 5050UB slash Epson ATW9400. The entry-level projectors here give great HD picture quality, but there's a huge gulf in price between these and full 4K picture. The Optima UHD65 starts to bridge that gap but the Epson ATW9400 is as close to 4K quality as you can get without a native 4K chip. Running a 4K source will give astonishing picture quality, which will stand up in a room with natural light. The lens can move the image vertically and horizontally, making it more flexible in where it can be positioned than cheaper units, which will simply project it wherever they are pointed. It's an incredibly solid unit, with a stronger build than the cheaper units and a very elegant design. It will need a solid base or bracket as it weighs in at 11, nearly four times many of these other units, and does run loud if using its modes for prime video quality. It's expensive, but you would struggle to get a sharper picture without going for a full 4K price tag. This too has a different name depending on where you are, so it'll pay to check for both names wherever you are. The number eight position is held by BenQ T Keith 150. The BenQ T Keith 150 is a brilliant projector that finds the middle ground of the spectrum. A bit more expensive than the more budget models, though very worthy, the extra investment but much more affordable than the premium 4K Beast. This is a projector that even has great audio, and with a brightness level of 3000 lumens, excellent HDR, and its massive screen size. There's no wonder this is a particularly excellent model for sports. Its dedicated sports mode is testament to that, and when you throw in motion smoothing and enhancements, the T Keith 150 makes a strong argument as the best BenQ projector going to. Its colors, 4K resolution, and HER support as well as the motion enhancement will also make this a fin contender for gaming. Even if you're playing fast shooters, there's some video noise in gray shadows or dark scenes, and the lack of streaming apps 
Seems a bit of an oversight for a projector of this price tag in the year 2020, but overall the TK150 is a great projector and worthy of its place on this list. Next at number 9 we have Optima UHD65. This is essentially the entry level for ultra-high definition images. It's a fraction of the cost of a true 4K unit, but can give excellent picture quality from a 4K input or if upscaling from lower quality sources. It is easy to set up, but you may find you need to try out a few different settings if you're upscaling to smooth out the image at first. Zoom and focus are, are done manually, but once you've got this set up, you won't need to think about it again, and it helps to keep the price lower. The unit gives stunning images with a great depth of color. Although if you're being picky, you may still notice that darker games or scenes lack the detail of brighter colors, as is so often the case with HD projectors or even TV screens. But that's not to say you'll have to put away any Arkham game and only play Mario Kart, and for the picture quality, it's a quibble not a deal-breaker. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Inker Nebula Capsule. This is true portability. The cute Nebula Capsule is about the size of a soft drink can and just as welcome on a summer day in the park. Remember doing that. You can plonk it down anywhere and almost instantly turn any surface into a screen. It will display well even in the light as long as it's close enough to the surface. You won't get the truly huge or high-definition pictures you'd see with dedicated home units, but this tiny unit still packs a punch. If you're using it with a console or dedicated media player, you can run from HDMI. But you can also use your smartphone to cast or screen mirror for truly wireless video for up to four hours on the battery. The unit has a heavily modified Android operating system and runs a number of apps, although not the full range you might hope for. The sound is decent enough and truly 360. It isn't a perfect unit, and the need it meets is quite a specific one. But if you want true portability, the Nebula can provide great fun anywhere. There's a Nebula Capsule Roman 2. Opens a new tab, which is a newer, flasher model, which is reflected in the price tag around double that of the regular capsule. Until that price tumbles, we feel confident recommending the first one still given the value it offers still, though both will be great options in the hunt for the best portable projector for you. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.